All right, so I have my scene built out and I'm ready for some texture to be added into my illustration. So what I would like to do is create a rectangle on top of my illustration. Um, and this could be any color. Um, what I would like is to stick to the um, either warm color palette or more like the blue. So I'm thinking I definitely want to go with something a little bit more warm um, and just give it a tint, a slight tint. So I have that ready for me. Um, something that I wanted to mention was I actually put this rectangle on a different layer. So if you go into your layers palette right here, um, you're able to see this rectangle. Um, in order for you to go to your layers palette, you go into window and layers will pop out with this menu right here. So just make sure that you put this on a different layer and it's not on the same layer as your illustration. Um, you don't want your actual illustration to have the effect. Uh, you want, uh, want to have like a, an effect that is in a different layer. So that way, let's say you want to uh, change different types of textures and add different things to it you can on a different layer so you don't have to disturb your illustration right here and you can name your layers by double clicking and say illustration and then double clicking and naming this texture all right so once that's taken care of um, I will go into my effect menu and I'm gonna go down to texture and I'm going to choose check texturizer so in here you'll notice that I've selected texture and texturizer right here um, so you will notice that you can actually customize your texture to your liking so let's say you want smaller scaling you can do that you want larger scaling that's definitely an option um, you can customize the relief um, and uh, let's say you want to invert, you can do that as well, or go to the top and left. So you can know, you can notice that there is a lot of effects that you can recreate even within the texture that you've selected. So um, the options are endless. So let's say I'm happy with that. And um, what I can also do here is if I go into texture, I can say canvas, and this shows like more of a canvas effect, or I go into burlap, so it gives me more of a burlap texture um, brick. So I'd like to stick to um, either canvas or sandstone. So let's say I stick to canvas. Once I'm satisfied with this effect, I will click OK. All right, so I have my texture. Now what I would like to do is start to bring my illustration through this texture. And the way for me to do that is to go into my, um, what I wanna do is go into transparency and you access through windows. Um, you go into windows and you have transparency and this is what the menu will look like right here. So, um, to play even further the effect palette, you can actually go into this blending mode right here, which is now selected on to normal, and you can actually play around with the different kinds of effects. I personally like to do overlay, so what that does is it shows the texture, but it still maintains the illustration. Um, and now what I would like to do is bring down the opacity a little bit. So. As you can see, you can still see the texture inside my illustration, which is what I want. Um, but I still want to maintain the colors of my illustration just by bringing down the opacity a little bit. Now, overlay pretty much um, gives you the specific kind of effect where it um, kind of acts like a transparency with a hint of uh, color. Um, you can have different effects if you want. You can go multiply, which will slightly darken your illustration, as you can see. And you can also um, customize your transparency, too. So you can very much uh, adapt 
your texture to any type of effect that you have in the blend mode here. So you can do a soft light, you can do a hard light. So this would be a soft light and you can see like the details are very subtle. Uh, I personally like to stick to overlay. It gives me a little bit more depth also on the uh, background area. So I get this texture all over, yet I have the subtle hint of the uh, warm color that I color picked from my objects. Um, and I also have the opacity turned down. So this is pretty much it. And all I need to do is add some type and I'm pretty much done. And I chose to um, do a specific kind of font. So I will bring up my font palette, character palette that is. Again, you go into uh, window and you go type and then character and this menu will pop up. And I chose, this is, and I will, and I uh, did some different colors. Now I want to make sure, like, I, I turned this off. When I'm working, I want to make sure that I'm also not on the same layer as my texture uh, layer. So I want to go back to my illustration. Let's turn this off for now so the eyeball actually uh, turns it on and turn it, turn it on like this and then you can turn it off like that. So I'll put my type layer in the illustration palette like so. And then uh, just customize my saying to whatever I would like it to say. Um, I want to go into my type palette and play around with the spacing a little bit. And as you can see, I'm also using the scale the transform tool to scale things up and scale things down. Um, and then just a subtitle right here. And then um, that's pretty much it for this uh, illustration. So it's now just a matter of taking a look at how things work together as a whole. Um, if you want to move things down a little bit, you can. Uh, if you'd like to change the font, if you would like to play around a little bit further with the colors, you can. But hopefully you've gotten to this phase and you're pretty satisfied with your illustration and you're making minor tweaks. Uh, that way uh, you already have your idea laid out and you're just making simple tweaks at this point. Uh, so now that I'm happy with where this is, I will turn my texture layer on like so. And I noticed there was some uh, Let's see. Looks like I'm seeing this is looking a little bit more on the bright side, so I kind of want to bring this down a little bit more in opacity. Let me see what that. So again, like I'm reevaluating what I did and seeing if this works for me as a color or if I want to change the color even more um, or if I would like to darken but um, overall I'm pretty happy with the result um, and this is one example of what this uh, particular uh, collection of tools that I've used can can bring you in so you don't need to use uh, very complicated tools to create a illustration like this uh, you can simply just stick to like three or four different tools and you pretty much have a simple um, or not so simple, if you want to make it complex, you can, um, illustration for a postcard. I will see you in the next video that details your assignment and um, 
and then uh, what the guidelines are for your assignment for you to submit into Blackboard.